Morning everybody, I'm Jim, this is Chris, and we're Midlife Travel Bug. Today we have left Bangkok and we're on our way to the island of Koh Samet. We're gonna spend a few, a week, maybe even longer in Koh Samet. It's a beautiful sunny day today. So we just uh, hired a private driver this time. We just wanted to get there and not have a, a tumultuous ride as some of the rides we've had lately. So we treated ourselves and hired a driver, but we'll see you at the ferry pier. About a three and a half hour drive from Bangkok. Okay, thank you. Sir. Thank you. Okay, let's catch you up to date. So, <laughs> we, we had uh, a personal driver from Bangkok to the pier. It took about two and a half to three hours, but a nice drive. We stopped twice for a quick bite and a quick pee break. And the driver drove us right to the pier. We drove to the pier, you had a choice between the, um, the ferry, which was 45 minutes, or the speed boats, which were 12 minutes. It was 120 baht return for the ferries, and it was 300 baht each for the speed boats return. Um, you can come back at a different time, even if you don't know when you're coming back is what they said. So we opted this time for the speedboat. Sort of thought we'd keep the theme today on the, uh, the fancy travel. As I've learned in the past that paying the extra few dollars sometimes makes all the difference in your travel day. So literally we left at 10 after nine this morning. It is now 12.20, 12.20. And we've gone all this way very quickly taking a more expensive route. 2,500 baht for a private car all the way from Bangkok, our, our hotel, right to the pier. So, plus it's my birthday week, so I felt like we, I we got to. It. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, we're going to be around Koh Samet for the next week to 10 days. We have no uh, timeline yet. Um, already can see that the sun is The sun is, is uh, shining upon me, and I think we're going to go get a Chang. We're going to go get a Chang beer, and uh, we'll show you around this island. So I just want to add to uh, coming into Koh Samet here, it's uh, 400 baht for a couple. So 200 baht to get in, that's the cost of the uh, National Park fee. You have to pay that as soon as you get off the, off the ferry. You have to keep that ticket with you the whole time that you're here. So when you get off the port, you're going to want to jump into one of these Songrans. And these are the uh, vehicles that take you around the island and this will take you to your hotel. checked into the Samad Villa Resort. Everything was great. They uh, moved us from Blue Bay just because of the construction and the no internet thing that was going on. So um, super people everywhere, super people at both places. I'm gonna show you our place right now. Uh, so um, Chris will tell you the pricing of what this is. Now we're gonna stay in this place for the next week. So walk in, got a big, Dresser there with a, a safe and a fridge, for bed and everything, and then bathroom with shower. In a kettle, which is a bonus, especially in Asia, you can make your own coffees. You can pick up instant noodles. The fridge is huge. We can pick up our own fruit and uh, kind of enjoy that. Well, it was twenty 
dollars a night Canadian plus tax. So I think it worked out to close to thirty six or thirty seven dollars a night. But this isn't the place that we actually were supposed to stay, like Jim explained. So this is kind of, I think, an upgrade, but not the bungalow we were hoping for. But at the same time, I'm grateful for a little spot to sit outside. And if I lean down under the balcony, I can see the ocean. So. Yeah. So we rode our bike to the very tip of the island. It's not a big island. It doesn't take long. It's, uh, we stopped along the way at some of the different beaches. Um, you know, the one side of the island seems to have all the beaches. The other side just has some random uh, little viewpoints along the way. But uh, from end to end, maybe a, if we were going fast a 10 minute bike ride that's about it there's a pathway to go see the sun rise or sunset there's two different paths we're gonna go just check it out we'll come back for sunset a little later yeah like i said it's not a very big island it's just um some great beaches white powder sand and crystal clear water so i think it's about 12 kilometers or 12 miles i'm not sure which one 12 kilometers or 12 i think it's 12 kilometers from end to end so not not very big but uh it's fantastic this is the place you come to relax and just chill that's it <music>
half months of travel so far, this has been our favorite uh, location for beaches. Um, the sand is super white, soft as sand we felt in some time. Uh, clean, reasonably clean beaches too, which has been nice. The water's calm. So the last week we we haven't done too much touring around. It's a small island. We rented a bike for the day and managed to check out some of the other little beaches and locations. But it took a couple of hours on a motorbike and that's about all you need the rest of the time. It's just been a, a lot of R&R. &R. Yeah, the, uh, the island's about 12 kilometers from tip to tip, so it doesn't take long. You can rent a bike for, you know, a day max, maybe. I think it was about here. It's a little yeah. bit more expensive than some of the other, other areas, but... So you can see every single beach from just driving around on the bike in one day. We just did some beach hopping and went from beach to beach and just checked it all out. We're in a pretty good area where we are. We're walking distance within town and that's what we're doing right now. So um, there's, there's sort of um, three bigger key beaches that are on this end of the island. And that's where we stayed. We stayed on the third beach, which is from the, I don't even know the names of them. We'll have to post them down below. Um, this this main area seems to be where everything that you want to do is. There's the restaurants on the beach, there's the candlelit dinners, there's the fire shows, and everything's walkable. So we've just been walking to town, walking down the beach for different places to eat, different bars, and the swimming's amazing. So the sun sets on the other side of the island, which isn't that far either. It's only about a, a kilometer walk to get to the other side. So and we'll probably uh, uh, go over there this evening and catch our last sunset. We are headed out tomorrow. Couldn't have asked for a better location. The sun's been shining every day. So if you want relaxing time, beach time, clear water and soft sand beaches, Cosumet is a great place to go. Absolutely. When I come back in a heartbeat, Probably so far in all of Thailand, one of my favorite islands personally. We're just walking around on this beach. Uh, there's a lot of restaurants and bars to come see. So you got lots of food options, you got lots of uh, entertainment options in the evening with some live music and uh, fire shows. Almost, there must be like 10 different fire shows on every night. I think so. I think they start anywhere from about 7.30 and they, different spots, they end up going up to I think about 9 o'clock. Don't worry about missing a fire show, they're all free as well. So uh, as long as you're sitting there and, and having some drinks or eating, then uh, you have to watch a free fire show and they're all pretty cool. get a chance eat at the banana bar it is uh, our favorite place to eat on the island so far that we found well we've eaten there twice we've been to a number of restaurants that one ticks all the boxes for pricing and uh, incredible delicious food so banana bar is like copper We found a third 7-Eleven. Well, the, it is the third 7-Eleven. It's right next to the port where you get dropped off. So it's uh, right here, and the port's right here. But uh, the significance is that this is the one that has the ATMs right by it. There's one other that's in town, but it was out of service. So uh, these ATMs are the only options here when you're on cement. How much? So 
Joseph's Beach to watch the sunset is O'Prow Beach, which we're headed to right now. Come watch our last sunset on Cosimet and uh, enjoy a glass of wine. We bought some chicken wings. Just chill out on the beach for a couple minutes. We're gonna close off our Samet, Cosamet Island time with a nice sunset, a glass of wine, eat our chicken wings, and just enjoy this last evening. It was a good birthday week for Christine. It was absolutely perfect, and perfect sunset tonight. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, hit the like button, it sure helps us out. Thanks again. Thanks, guys. every single beach in that one single day and that's what we did we just kind of went beach hopped from day to day